Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are in this world. This is Hedging D with a morning update for Bitcoin. A little bit late today. It's been a busy day. Timing doesn't matter on the updates. It's just a matter of the analysis. So, I want to revisit this and take it in a more of a, the whole downtrend perspective. So it reached the five waves. Wave five is here. And after five waves, this decline can be measured, I believe, as an ABC. So let's start big to small. So if we have an A, B, C, somewhere here. And if this is A, I'm counting ABC subwaves. So let's make that blue at a lower degree of trend, ABC. And these blue ABCs will become the subways of this red A. And what kind of an ABC is this? This is what I wrote initially, a zigzag. Five, three, five. So if you want to count to five, three, five, it'll look like one, two, three, four, five for this. And those five red waves, the red five, will be the subwaves to the blue. I won't count the B3, but the C, blue C, can be counted like that. So you got the 535. Five. The B here, you have an ABC. A, B, C. It's very clear. Three wave up retrace. And if we label that, that'll look like A, B, C. Very pristine and clear. <clears throat> so we are on the C wave clearly right now. And this C wave has to have five waves. And I think those five waves can be labeled like this. One, two, wave two was a complex bear flag. So one, two, we have three, four, and probably one more lower low. And wave C's always have five subwaves. And where this is here at around 7100-ish or so, should be where the 0.781 retrace lies around. Because this will go to the 0.78 of the whole 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 climb. And this A, B, C itself will complete that 0.78 correction. And if that's the case, Let's take a look at the longer term here. Where is the 0.78? It's at 7174. And this wave 5 is at around 7077. So it's within the range. So are we done with the correction? I think we're close. We're going to get a bit of a bounce probably. Uh, could this be the wave 5? I'm sorry. Could this be the end of the... Correction, yes, absolutely, and if it is, wonderful. But I think based on the counts, we have one, two, this is wave three. Four is happening right now. It might take a couple of days or so, and then one more lower low to the 7100s, or a little below it. So this region 
will be it, I think. And if that's the case, we'll need to redraw these lines. Instead, instead of a wedge, we've got a bull flag. This kind of morphing does occur. Don't be surprised by the morphing effect. Okay? Now, here's the thing. Then we need to relabel this as a as a flag. However, for now, I'm going to label it as the ABC that we just discussed. A B C. So this ABC is exactly what we did in a much close up scale of ABC. And this is moving in a channel clearly. It's moving in a channel. And if this C goes to 0.786 right here, let me align the arrow to it too. We've got probably one more lower low to go. So it may climb to here even, as long as it doesn't overlap with one. Let me try drawing an arrow to that path. Where it goes, and then down to C. And then once that C is done, then you have one, two, three, four, five waves of C complete. And from there, at around, let's say, somewhere between the 28th to 30th, we should see a turnaround. Because then the 0.78 would have hit. And price will be within this cluster of support. Now, can it go to 0.88? Yes, it can. And that 0.88 will be exactly in the middle of this support. Talk about an 88% retracement. Mm -hmm. And there wasn't even an extended fifth if that happens. But for now, we'll first take the first stage at 0.786. With the awareness that yes, it can go to 0.88, which is the square root of 0.786. All right, I hope this makes sense to you. I hope it is helpful. And I wish you a good day.